Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underground Expedition with me, Bring It Dawn. And before I go in here, uh, see Cortex is in charge of technology, so I'm gonna bring MP grenades instead of my G grenades. All right. Head inside and see what goodies await, or what dangers. All right, let's quick save. Oh, Deathstalker, cool. <laughs> We're just gonna run through this real quick. No need to stick around here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, you guys need to screw off. <laughs> I didn't expect these guys to be down here. Really in any capacity, so... There's a door. Let's finish going this way. I mean, crawlers aren't a huge threat. Oh, is he right there? I didn't see. Whoopsies. Well, good news is he's dead. So, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's the same result. There's a door back here. I'm interested in going in before I continue that way, because that might be the way forward. Requires car is lock picking. Alright, come and get me, dude. You loser. Hello? Are you are you are you there? Is he gonna leave me alone? No, still in combat. He just isn't showing himself. I'm gonna keep throwing these until he There he is. Alright. Loser. Alright, let's uh let's lockpick this door. Cybernetic module. Instead of this item to gain three points of experience, you can study this type of item up to one times. Uh, some sort of cyber. Oh, there's a mutant over there. Interesting. Some sort of cybernetic enhancements, but you have no idea how you didn't plant them. And some other electronic devices that I'm sure I could sell for a profit. Ooh, and a flashbang. All right. Seems like there's a lot of dangerous nasties in this area, so let's uh, let's quick save before I open up this door. Fantastic. Come here. Oh, hello, all of you fine people. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, let them keep continue to come to me. Oh, explosive barrel. Huh. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it now. Gosh darn it. Deathstalker, get out of here, man. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Whoopsies. I hate when I do that. Well, at least he's sticking around, I guess. And he's getting hit by the acid here as well. So, you know what? Not that bad. Let's get this acid real quick, because it is, uh... Doing a number on me. Alright, let's quick save now that, uh... That fight is done with. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize, or forgot that that was applied to me from the Death Stalker. Whoopsies. There we go. Much better. I'm really happy with my progress against the uh, the Death Stalkers and the um, Crawlers. Oh, holy crap! Is it? Do I need to do this? No, but I'm going to. Out of spite, since I missed it when I walked past it the first time. I didn't loot these corpses. Probably nothing on here to loot. Oddities I already have. There are a ton of mutant oddities. So do I not have to even come in here? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I guess if you wanted to go this way, you'd have to fight the... Okay. That's quick save. This is gonna be a little annoying. Hopefully, I don't have to fight as soon as I walk through it. I really regret not having a gas mask with me. Oh well. That's what I get, I suppose. I'm gonna wait for this to wear off before I continue. Increase by 160%. Yes, yeah, screw that. Do not want to fight anything with that. If that on. That being effective. Our ventilation shaft, obviously the way we want to go. Alright, cool, they do have robots. I was right. And a computer console, I wonder what that does. Maybe it shuts off all the robots. It doesn't seem like it's a very big area, but this is all glass, which doesn't bode well. It means they're all gonna see me. I'm in here playing on the computer. And enter the document code. Enter random numbers. Invalid document code. Okay. Um. I have no problem fighting the robot, so let's just go stand over here. Oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna throw this at you.
Then again, I could probably just short circuit you with this. So let's, um. There we go. That's all that needed to be done. What's up, buddy? Um, I probably don't even have to. Probably don't even have to short circuit him. Let's just activate that. Yeah, he's just gonna turn into that and that just kill him. Whereabouts are stupid. I can't even try to. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't complain. Ooh. Oh, we've already seen the self conscious module before. Oh, here they come. Alright, um, yeah. And he should be able to shoot me from there, so I'm just gonna hide in this corner. One sensible way to take care of this. Stabby stab. EMP grenade. So I don't have enough to attack. I'd have to. Shield bash. A little bit of damage. But nothing to write home about. All right, more scraps, perfect. All right, so I'm assuming that's all the enemies on this floor since the camera spotted me there, and... Right, there's a way down, that's probably the way I need to go. Let's hold off on that for now. Dead end. Hi, camera. Thank you. Sweet laser pistol. How much does this thing hold? 70. Let's see. 200, 500, and 100. Yeah, not worth using any of those. So I wonder if you have to come here regardless if you side with Cortec or not, because... Um, I think regardless you have to retrieve the cube, right, to get rid of the faceless? Unless Cortec does something else, else with the faceless. Maybe they give you something to shut down the robots on this level if you're siding with Cortec. So that's a different ventilation shaft. Key card of some kind. I don't know what it's for. All right, let's um, let's heal up. Then we'll go into the ventilation shaft. So I don't think we saw this one when we were exploring the other ventilation shafts. Okay, this is new. Oh. Super unexciting. Alright. I think this level is completed. Let's just do a once around and make sure. The doors blend in well with the walls here, so it's a little difficult for me to spot all the paths. 
All right, got a quick save. And then down we go. Should probably check the durability of my weapons, because I don't know the last time that I... Yeah, let's do a couple of repairs real quick. Oh, that should hold me over for now. Which, I mean, previous durability probably would have held me over. Uh, okay, they're not hostile. Nope, oh, please go to the other wardrobe. Thank you. Alright, so this is some sort of... Interesting. Have I been able to do that to beds this whole time? And I've never done it? I wonder how much stuff I've missed. What's up, fellas? You shouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. Who the hell are you? No, please. Aww. He looked right at me. Interesting. So this is like Chertists, because they had all those tentacles coming out of their body. Lab Rat. Gained 3 XP. Set this item type one time. A white Lab Rat. Probably should not touch it. Well, I'm going to put it in my pocket and go on about my day. And level up. Alright, so I need intelligence. So that I can get... Where is it at? So everyone really wants Spear Guardian, Brutality, and Boarding Up. So I'm going to get those three. Critical Power would also be good. Ah, oh, man. I get five more after this. So I think, yeah, Spear Guardian, Boarding Up, Brutality, Critical Power, and then there's the plus two to Strength that I plan on getting. But expose Weakness for right now. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you're right. Iron Grip. All right, so now my Iron Grip... Uh damage is only reduced by 10% instead of 15, because I've reduced the penalty by 5%. So I'm really excited about that. Yep, what did I not... Oh, skill points. <laughs> the bread and butter of the, uh, the level up. Alright, so let's, uh, let's equip... Expose weakness. Right there. You know what, just because I don't want flare on this, I'm going to put lock right there. Alright. Computer console. Main menu. Documents. Uh, research log 1. We're examining what appears to be some sort of electronic device. It's an irregular polyhedron polyhedron resembling a number of cons concentric intersected cubes of various sizes. It appears to be made from ver a very light semi-metallic material. Its color is bluish dark gray. The artifact might feature movable parts, but none of them responded to gentle pressure, so no further attempts to reconfigure the device were made in fear of damaging it. The artifact features one to six unrecognized symbols on each of its many sides. Some sides also feature sockets, none of which comply with BioCore or previous standards. Research Log 2. The artifact does not appear to be emitting radiation or electromagnetic waves. Sorry, electromagnetic waves. Did I say electromagnetic? I don't know what I said. But electromagnetic waves. However, due to us having a reason to believe that this object is still somehow traceable at long distances, we have taken the precaution of keeping it at a second or higher level of isolation at all times. Research Log 3. Most of, this, most of the sockets appear to be non-functional or dormant. However, a number of sockets, if engaged in a way that disables their safety brakes, act as an extremely high voltage, high direct current power source sources. Uh, this, lab uh, lab this laboratory does not currently possess the equipment to harvest this power or even safely experiment it on it further. Since we cannot, at this point, trace the origin or explain the manufacturing process of this extremely powerful device, it can be safely categorized as a Xeno artifact. 
Interesting. Are there aliens in this game? I mean, I guess it just kind of doesn't necessarily mean... Yeah. Well, anyway. Research Log 4. Referencing previous research documents on various Xeno artifacts revealed the meaning of two symbols, one of which denotes direct electric current. The symbol appears, among other places, near the active sockets. The other one appears in a single spot near an inactive socket, and is a bit less straightforward since various researchers and Xeno archaeologists cannot agree upon its meaning. But according to them, it signifies gravitational field, space-time curvature, singularity, or one of the... Re or one of the related phenomena such as event horizon or a combination of these. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a lot of, uh... Interesting effects to have been given to that device. I wonder what... I'm assuming we're going to figure out what it does. Um... At some point. So that's that's really interesting. Gosh darn it. I'm just gonna reload because I don't want to recharge all that stuff. It's a waste of batteries. Son of a gun. Alright, go around the outskirts there. Alright, so they want a fight. And the fight they shall have. <laughs> Hopefully they run at me. Nope, they're just gonna... Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I can't even get to him because... Ugh. All right, you know what? Of course these guys are immune. I can't get past these guys out of the way. Yes, I can. And the time is right. Just not yet, but it will be. God, I hate doppelganger here so much. They're gonna kill me by themselves, which is super annoying. All right, let's sweep. My adrenaline shot. Take out this last one, or well, second to last one. We're gonna move in this direction and chill out. I oh, stop summoning doppelgangers. You guys are awful. Gosh darn it. What an awful experience. Okay. Um, so they do electric damage. I need to get rid of oh, so many lighters. Don't need all of those. Okay. Um, I have food that reduces electric damage, right? And again, maybe not. So I need to kill those guys faster, or use this on my opening turn. All right, let's quick save again. We'll get out here and take care of these guys. That acid, acid blob trap though is gonna be super annoying. Maybe I need to trigger them before I trigger the trap. I don't think, maybe I can, perfect. That works out, so now I won't be trapped when combat starts. Alright, I can get behind this. Lovely change of pace. Alright, I don't know where the other one's at. I think he's over here around the corner, right? Yeah. So let's flashbang these guys.
then they wake up next turn anyway, so it might not be a bad idea. Well, let's just go poke this guy. Adrenaline shot. Poke him again. All right, that works out. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. All right. Resounding success. Chertis robe. These dark Chertis robes are pretty neat if you don't mind getting strange looks. Increases stealth and intimidation. I guess I'll take one pair of them. Did I grab the other pair? No, I did not. Yeah, I'll take the one, or well, not pair, I guess just set of robes. So it looks like we're down in the sewers. Oh, this is probably lead us back. Okay. That locked gate that was in the sewers to the... That led to the east. Yep. So I guess now, what does it say? Probably wants us to go talk to... Maybe I should go talk to the Chertis before I go talk to um, Chief Knight. What stuff did I leave down here? Oh, garbage. Okay. Let's go talk to... Um, the Chertists, see what they have to say about it. I'm sure they won't admit to anything. But, wouldn't hurt to check. Actually, let's go talk to Cortex, see if they have anything to say about their secret laboratory. Okay, so I asked her to join Cortex. She'd probably ask me what my qualifications are. Uh, most certainly, sir. Cortex is a top technology research and application company in Underrail. We have several open positions in the fields of geophysics, chemistry, and ballistics. Can you please specify your qualifications so that we may proceed? Uh, I suppose you aren't looking for a mechanical engineer or anything similar. I'm afraid not. Not at the moment, at least. But we might have something different available. Could you please tell me your full name? Rondon. Let me do a quick check on you. She starts typing something on the keyboard. Soon, she shakes her head and continues. It seems you've already been hired by a different employer. I'm afraid we cannot offer you a job due to our company policy. Still, thank you for your thank you for applying. Thank you for your time. All right. Coolio. Uh, let's go talk to the tourists and see what's going on with them. Oh, they're gone. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Don't mind me looting their, uh, place. 63? Gross. Alright, let's go talk to, uh, Chief Knight, and we'll probably call it an episode. Hmm, so there seems to be some sort of conflict, I'm assuming between the Chertist and the Faceless. That's interesting. So I wonder if maybe the cube isn't just a uh, electronic device. Maybe it's also a biological device. So I don't see why the Chertis would be interested in it if it didn't have anything to do with their, you know, uh, biological evolution stuff. Unless it goes against it somehow. I guess it's also possible. What are you looking for? There we go. Okay. Chief Knight. Chief Knight. I'm telling on uh, the Chertists. At ease. What do you need? I've been to the research facility. Very good. What did you discover? The device was indeed in the research facility, but at the last moment, Chertist stormed in and stole the device. 
Then they disappeared. Chertis. What in bloody hell do they intend to do with that thing? I went through the logs of the facility. The researchers there discovered that the device is actually a Xeno artifact. They never learned how to use it, if it's even possible. But the bottom line is that the artifact is potentially extremely powerful. Xeno artifact. I don't know what to say to this. Man thinks he learns a lot with age, but the more time... The more time passes, the more I realize how little I actually know about this world. The Faceless, Edmund, Cortec, I... It's too much. He takes a deep breath. Get a hold of yourself, Archie. You can overcome this. Just get a hold of yourself. Just need some time to think, that's all. He looks at you. Senior Enforcer, you did very good today. You have my gratitude. I report to Lieutenant Stratford when you have the time. It's about something you might find really interesting. Now I must ask you to leave me. I need some time for myself. He salutes you. Salute and leave. You know... I actually kind of like that guy. Like, he doesn't seem that bad. I know how the oligarchs are kind of viewed by the general population. But he doesn't seem... He has a lot of self-control. At least he tries to. And I think that's good for a leader to have. Alright, Chief Knight told me to talk to you about something, but didn't specify what it was. That is correct. Uh, as of now, you can consider yourself the owner of a house in Core City's prestigious residential district. Chief Knight was impressed by your splendid performance, and has decided that this would be an adequate reward. What we need to do now is go to the residential district, the easternmost section of this level, where a Core City Housing Corporation representative will be waiting for you. It is a more than adequately sized building on the northern part of the residential area, and it's difficult to miss. I'll be sure to say my thank, my thanks, my thank, my thanks to Chief Knight the next time I see him. Uh, no, okay, I'll be on my way then, sir. Salute and leave. I guess there's nothing else to talk about. So I assume that's my final reward for finishing the this quest line. So now I have a house. Interesting. So I have two houses here and at SGS. I think I still use SGS as my primary one, just because I already have everything there, but this one will be my backup. Alright, I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll go talk to the guy about the house, uh, get my house, look at it. I think this is where I can get some upgrades. Also, I never did anything with that manor. What was the name of the manor? I do want to go back and check this real quick. So what? I don't. I don't remember if it was the name of any of the people, any of the oligarchs or not. Tulaski. Yeah, don't know who that is. I feel like I should know that name, but I don't. So. All right, gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll check out our house, and then I do want to go back to SGS. And turn in the quests. Huh. Oh yeah, we also have to talk to Tanner. So yeah, we need to talk to Vera and Tanner. So yeah, we, we have a few leads. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.